like what Tolis has been able to do. Yes. The door betwixt dimensions. Precisely. Good to know. Good to know. She opens her mouth to say something, but then sees out of the corner of her eye Silas coming back up the stairs. Oh. My cat has returned? She sort of stops and gets a bit more confused seeing who that size is not alone. Oh. Huh. Silas, you walk back upstairs. Oh, look, the stray found a person. I just need, like, one second. <laughs> it has been one second, so we're going to rewind about five minutes back then. Uh, anyone else doing anything? Other than eating and drinking? Uh, I sent you the thing I, that more was fiddling with. Yes. You finish it. Hello. Secrets. Got a 27 Tinker's Tool. Yeah, you definitely finish it. Oh. <laughs> Super simple little thing. He created a bomb under the table. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not He's actually the tear hot in disguise. Table bomb. <laughs> um, yeah, it, can he like? Can he just like wind it up and have it just like march over to Vaso? <laughs> the little thing. It sounds worse. Vaso, you don't mean, know what it is, but you it's, mean it's Zol? Zol. God damn it! Yes, it starts walking towards the twins. <laughs> 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 no, it's gonna have like a like a tiny little like bear trinket like start walking over to Zol. Zol is sitting back down after having successfully uh, abducted the plate of uh, tortilla chips and salsa from Sajar. <laughs> he did it. He's sitting back down, offers food? offers some to Deet. <laughs> Zol is <laughs> like, it's real good salsa. A little bit of spice to it. And in my setting, no one has the genetic tendency that cilantro tastes like soap, so we're all saved. Moving on. God bless America. And he's like eating and talking no, no, with you, Deet. <laughs> and then this little bee, like a tinker toy, literally tinker toy, begins coming over, like about the size of the palm of your hand. What the fuck is that? He like looks around, like who, who, like did, did someone, someone put this there? Oh, what is this? He picks it up. D, you see him like sort of like maneuvering it in his hands. <laughs> it's not a bomb. I don't. Wait, I have gunpowder. I little, uh, bomb are you sure bomb. about that? Little uh. Little bear. Toy. You know what this is? You like sort of shows it to you, D. Um. I don't have toys growing up, so. Uh... Oh right, Quincy, I don't have fun. <laughs> fun is illegal. <laughs> but do I throw it? The fly? Don't throw it! <laughs> um, oh, this is yours! I'm sure. Sorry. It it was a lot of effort. I don't want you to throw it and break the damn thing. Uh, a lot of effort? How long have you been working on it? Uh, 20 minutes. 20 minutes? A lot of effort? Man, you won't last one day in the twins. <laughs> it's a lot of mechanical... Don't worry about it. It was quicker for me than normal, but... It... it, it, it I felt like we got off on the wrong foot initially, and I still I still agree on that point. On that we are in concurrent. <laughs> concurrent. So <laughs> on that we are it's in. It's a cahoots. small thing of sorry for being a dick, and also thank you for your help, and also it's a cool little bear. Apology accepted. I think you guys are still source scumbags. I didn't do it for you. I did it for my friend. But I'm keeping this. He puts over his mouth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, how come I don't get a wee pet toy whenever we fight? That's not fair. I have definitely made you presents in the past for your birthday. No. Oh, never mind. <laughs> do, do you want Discrimination. me to make like, a tiny, like, what, dragon? What, what's a birthday? <laughs> what's a birthday? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, you mean a curse day? A, a day where we enter this cursed existence that is laugh? Oh, yeah. My favorite <laughs> holiday, too. Mm -hmm. oh, ah, cool. yes, that day. Nice. Love it. Mm -hmm. That's not canon, though. He's all just actually said that, but it's just like, yeah. it would be a funny bit. <laughs> the twins being the showing. <laughs> yep. Do, do you, no, you think we're scumbags? I mean. Eh. Yeah, it's kind of hurtful. I'm not gonna lie. It's more just. Didn't, like, when we meet you, you threaten to, like, 
kill one of us, being like, oh, you would try, and then one of you had a gun in the woods. Did that happen? I mean, I so I'm gonna take it easy on you, because you uh, knocked on God as a Philosaur's door, you get a pass. <laughs> only, for, only for this evening, though. Oh, thank you so much. See? So ungrateful. He says, I look at you, do like, get a load of this lady. <laughs> See, so Zol, this is what you this is what you deal with when you speak with chromatics. It's impossible. It's a oh, for God's sake, like whatever you are is any better. Dragon is dragon, right? Whatever, man. I'm so done. <laughs> Zol like looks at you, Sajar, like I got you, homie. I got you. What I mean? Just like a fist pal, like yeah, yeah. I could have started as a tenth of an olive branch, and it has completely fallen apart on me. Maybe well, I don't yeah. gotta lock you. But you like the bear. Twinsians don't trust criminals. Yeah, and apparently... I love this because uh, out of game, criminals. we know he literally bought drugs probably from a criminal. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> yeah, I know, that's what we call... <laughs> that's what we call hypocrisy. He also has a crush on Deet, so... I, yeah, I, I was about to say, I gesture at her. Or he starts to gesture, but then it's like, I don't want to start this fight. He puts his hand back down. It's like, ah. You don't know that Deet's a criminal. She got flat. Well, she, oh, oh, okay. she, she got flagged by Sylphwallians, but yeah. you guys are also flagged by Sylphwallians, and so is Wolfgang. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you're in no context for if she actually is a criminal. <laughs> actually, yeah, That's what Wolfgang will probably say. Uh, I'm pretty sure most of us are criminals. At least <laughs> some Not real some criminals, case. though. Not real criminals. How are we real criminals in comparison to your friend here who also got flagged? Whereas we I mean, kind of did. Adventure and murdery type. We haven't really done anything that's terrible. Yeah, exactly. A likely story. Oh, I like this story. Have my, I don't have my, my, my legal counsel here this evening, so I, I won't be responding. <laughs> mm -hmm. When you I'm see the law change as often as I have, you tend to disassociate the law from morality. You fit right in, Solomus Wolfgang. Thank you. Nasrina holds up her, her, her beer at, at that, like, <laughs> that. Uh, okay, that's the fucking truth. So, Nina, you're back. From I am this. back. All right, we fast forward five minutes. You are now all five Whoa. minutes older in game. Don't spend all one place. Oh god, my heart. Oh god. I'm so wise. <laughs> Plus 30 wisdom suddenly. So yeah. Silas comes back up with a uh, musician in tow, and you guys can all see it. If not, Abigail's gonna point it out, so. <laughs> As you, like, crest up the top of the stairs, like, the your minstrel friend, I don't know if you're friends yet, but if you're amiable to one another, um, she does remark, my, my, you all look rather, uh, beat. Dashing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> tall, I mean, tall, dark, about. and handsome. The her in particular, she points at Dolby. She just waves a hand going, yeah, I know, I know. She, like, like I said. Puts a hand under her chin, t cocks her head a bit, like sort of examining you from a distance, Delphi. Mm -hmm. I must say, my friend, blue is not your color. Oh, blue. for the love of Christ! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what is it with you? Why are we bullying the dead person? Well, the well, dead that's person. it! Yeah, What's wrong laughing. with being blue? Well, I really just. <laughs> what is wrong with it? <laughs> For God's sake, um, did my ancestor, like, I don't know, try to kill the king or something? Is that what's going on? Well, they blew, That would so be probably. quite the tale. Uh, <laughs> I hate it here. I want to go home. Do you want to speak in private, or introduce me to your friends? <laughs> so, so that's a look between everyone, and then... I mean, uh, Silas, whoever this friend of yours is, she gets it. Uh, <laughs> Delphi's just glaring at all of you. Gracious terminology. Have you ever considered think... it's right? Right. It's fine. I think introductions can wait until later. Very well. But, uh... 
So, you guys, you guys rolled a 13 on the D100 over there, so there's still open tables up here. Go you. Uh, you go further down the uh, long stretch, the aisle of this quote-unquote courtyard, and find a uh, two spots on... It's sort of like a bar counter, but it faces out towards, like, the gap in between all the decks, all the levels. So, it's like sort of like the edge seats. Um, I would say that unless you're openly trying to quietly speak, other people can still hear you if they roll well enough. And it's not a high roll DC either. It's probably like DC 68. I feel like... If you want to actually be sneaky, then they will roll against your stealth. It wouldn't, it wouldn't be sneaky. Like, they're not going to be super loud, but they'll, yeah. It's going to be a more private conversation. Mm -hmm. But people can hear if they want to. As private as you can be in a tavern. <laughs> you know? Like, mm -hmm. that's, that's the idea. Yes. So. About that tale. Well, where do I even start? Let's start with names. You are? Silas. And you? Evelina. Pleasure to meet you. This will offer Evelina. a hand to shake. Why not? A hand to shake. She takes her hand delicately and gives it one, two, three firm shakes up and down. I'm a... Suddenly suave and kiss the back of her hand. <laughs> Ooh la la. Oh. Ooh la la. Romantic <laughs> interest for Silas. Yeah. Oh, I'm quite happy you picked this one. Roll me your charisma. <laughs> Add your poetic inspiration. It's the rogue in Ooh, the la la. Oh, no, you'll see. And then everything will click into. Oh, my yeah, God. Sorry. Oh, my God. You, I God. I fucking you know what it I is? You know... <laughs> mm -hmm. Actually, do you want my inspiration? <laughs> take it, take it. Oh, oh. <laughs> Kirsty giving inspiration? Character I development? Know. I know! Oh my god! god. Kirsty! Roll me D100. Kirsty me? Lore. Yeah, you. <laughs> oh, Christ. <laughs> you rolled badly. Uh, I was gonna say you could keep your inspiration, but you rolled badly, so, uh, well. Yeah. But I, appre I, I appreciate you being so generous. That's what I get an inspiration if you're generous. I thought the roll was gonna be for Kirsty. No, no, now you get nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. You lose, sir. Good day. <laughs> Willy Wonka. I can still add my bardic. Yes, yeah. Twenty-five. Very, very fluid. Very dashing, charming, <laughs> suave, and this. Gleef Okay, she has a pretty ever present coquettish smile, but this sort of gleeful uh filter, I guess you'd say. This tint flies across her as you do that. My oh my. Uh roll me your perception. Okay. Straight, not disadvantage. Thank god. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! Right, move on. On. Oh well. <laughs> <sighs> Man, you're all like trash. <laughs> they, they just burned. They were great well, at first. No, your first rolls are trash. Your second rolls are pretty good, but you don't always get the second roll. No, no, yeah. no, no. Before, like, before, like early, early session, they were great. Now, I don't know what happened. Luck is a fickle mistress. You pull away. And as you begin pulling away, you're still holding her hand. She sort of, like, dexterously, like, hinges her arm like sort of whips it so that now you're in the position of your hand being held and kisses your hand <laughs> she <laughs> big dick energies the hand kissing on you huh? so this is blushing but you can't see it past the fur <laughs> quid pro quo <laughs> i do like where the story's starting at though but go it on it gets better from here i hope so the serving weenie comes by. Um, can I get you guys anything? <laughs> me. A glass of wine for me. Anything? You, dealer's pick. She points at you. I typically don't drink, so I wouldn't know. Do you want to start now, or do you want to hold on to your sobriety? Hmm. I imagine there might be other things you're losing later. Oh. 
<laughs> the bar oh, when he was like he just like he's just like what what he shuts off <laughs> uh, south just go well there's a first time for everything two glasses Ye all right <laughs> he just walks away awkwardly this person's a terrible influence on Silas, you guys. <laughs> okay, Garth. They're also a bard. Oh. <laughs> you have to say, well, they're bards, so. though. <laughs> You'll bards see the true bards depths bards. of all this in a second. Um, do you <laughs> share the story? Oh, okay, I get you share the story. What do you redact is a bigger question. I was going to say. Um, that I have to think about for a second. Okay. I've been thinking about it this whole time. So if you want to move on to something real quick, I can think about uh, it. How about, uh, do, uh, do you want better? How about we take a five-minute break? Because I need a restroom, and I think it's a good time for it. Actually, I'll be down. Cool. Get, get, get drinks, use the time. restroom, get some snackies the, to fill your gullets, so on and so forth. Oh, In that right. case, I will be back. Yep. All right. Anyone who is still here, any suggestions on what I should redact? <laughs> There's nothing really incriminating. Uh, no. I mean, not really, I guess. It depends on, like, like th this... Where her loyalties lie. Mm. <laughs> you could narrate the events that um, ha that happened without necessarily giving the context. Mm -hmm. If that makes sense. Yeah. I imagine that will probably start with... Um... <sighs> I don't know, actually. I guess two starting points could be when we first arrived at uh, the farm versus when we first arrived at, like, when we got to the crystal, basically. Like, what happened from when we went into the basement. That makes sense? Yeah. Yeah, I do. This is definitely going to make this into a performance more than an accurate storytelling, too. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back. Valid. Absolutely. Are you kidding me? It's Bard talking to Bard. <laughs> I wasn't anticipating you being like this with her, but I'm happy you are. smile <laughs> no actually no like no no one said you'll you'll see what's up with her very shortly probably uh. <laughs> not like a bad way crash you're giving me anxiety out here <laughs> don't don't have anxiety you'll you'll love her okay oh well, i already do so it's off to a good start fantastic gotta make charming characters charming I'm not changing the music. As much as I love the Skeletal music. <clears throat> uh, say calm music. You know, Alec, I thought I was playing the bard, but clearly... <laughs> <laughs> I'm your ghostwriter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm feeding you lines. Silas, you know, you know, Silas taps into the Nexus aspect. <laughs> you hey, ghostwriter? I thought you meant, like, the superhero, and I was like, oh yeah, because you're on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, you're on a ghostwriter. Oh. That tracks. <laughs> this is obviously what he means. <laughs> yeah, that's what you mean, right? <laughs> Writer. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, happy. poor Goose Rider. Some happy music. Happy jaunty music. Oh, I should get some Pathfinder music. That's, that's some really good. Uh, oh, yeah. Quit the hefty boy. 
He just jumped down from the window and heard a very loud sound. <laughs> <laughs> like a boss fight. You know that fucking dragon that comes down in like the beginning area? The bonfire dragon? In Elden Ring? I should have specified the game I was talking about before I started describing it. <laughs> bonfire dragon. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. And, uh... It's like the first first one you see in the swamp area, right to the right of the beginning. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bon bonfire dragon. Um, that, that's what I was imagining as, as Twitch fucking just thud. <laughs> I'm back. Welcome, Welcome back. back. Thank you. Did we take five or something? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, were you gone? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we took five because I needed a minute to think about what Silas is and isn't going to tell no, us. You, you can tell the truth. I won't get a big hit. You guys took five because I wasn't here. Yeah. Yeah, right. I can't perfectly. Play Alec. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I do sometimes time it where it's like two people miss. I'm like, we can just take five right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, I'm that like, is a good people time. Gone. Yeah, In all fairness, that is a good time. Like, if it's... Mm -hmm the right time for it and people are leaving and it's like yeah why not yep tango ah uh, only yeah oh, yo. i went to this I um food. you ordered more food what'd you get <laughs> literally just fries there's a, a local place that like just sells french fries around here Ooh, so nice. yeah, are they like special fries or is it just like real good fries Really good fries, but yeah, you can get like uh, like cheese or bacon or what have you Whoa. on them. I'm gonna get corn that's sauce. So that's, that's, that's food <laughs> shit right there. Hang on, let go. Contain yourself. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that you are able to like order just fries and have it delivered to your door that sounds like a luxury because like <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about um, anyone else who, here who lives in the UK, but like. Just ordering one fries is not is not gonna cut it. You have to have like a minimum yeah, uh, for like ten pounds, I believe. Oh wow! I just can't order anything. There's no like I can't order anything delivered here. It's such a small town. There were like two places back in my old town that actually would deliver to you, and it was pizza and pizza. So <laughs> hey, if it works, that are you. That or you had to pay like an insane amount for uh, Feastify, which is basically just DoorDash. We're all back. Uh, yep. I think we are. Hope he's muted. I think so. Yeah, sorry to be so long. I realized I had been about the AGS, so I was just internally like screaming. Mm. <laughs> uh, and well, I would leave Just give you more time to think of what you're redacting out the story. <laughs> I, think, I think I've got a good idea. I was talking to Fred about it. Oh! <laughs> well, I was to it. About it. Yeah. And um, and I was um, he mentioned that, I mean, you can basically just tell the story without, you know, a whole lot of the, con like a specific context. And I was like, so this would probably find a way to tell the story without names. Yeah, like names of who whose names are you redacting? That's a good question. I mean, I was thinking about it, and I'm like, if she knows Fergus, then... A lot of people know Fergus in this town. Yeah, <laughs> I know. That'd be the main thing. But like, I mean... You could leave out the sensitive stuff like Nightmare Imperium doesn't have to be mentioned. You don't have to Well, no, Silas so doesn't mention that at all. <laughs> no, I wasn't she even considering that tells... stuff. Yeah, yeah, maybe leave out Delphi's lameness of dying, just say she was a valiant no, hero, no, you know? Highlight. No, no, that's, that's one of the highlights of the story. Oh, nah. Valiant yeah. hero, you're still alive, though, what do you, mean? you didn't even have that much of a sacrifice, you're still here. I was just like, you know that fucking traumatic over there? They died mid-fight, isn't it? <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. She, she, she would find that pretty funny, yeah. Fuck. sake. I just says it super loudly, too, so you can very <laughs> cool. <laughs> I'm kidding. My wife, no, so please do, please do. Salus won't do anything about the racism, but they won't participate necessarily. Mm, I see. <laughs> they're they're bystander yeah. to the friends. <laughs> uh, we we're all back. Mm -hmm. We're all back. Then uh, let's get back into it. Then. So you 
There must be. I hate. I hate this bot. There must be music to pull, stop. Like to start doing that. What do you mean? There is music playing. Dumb bots. Whatever. Whatever. Different tavern music. Go. <clears throat> so, you begin talking with Evelina. And so, you, okay, let me ask a couple of qualifiers. Where do you start the story? Do you start when you get to Ludwig, when you get into town, back in Duveros where you found out your family was missing? Like, where, where do you start it? I'd probably start it, um, do kind of like a vague catch-up of the situation with Saeed, uh, and start it where we got jumped on the road. Okay, the so... So you gave some backup, like, hey, I came back to town to go look at my family, met Saeed, their gang, beat their asses, negotiated with them, came here, <laughs> got some sweet-ass food from Porter, she doesn't know who that is, uh, got ambushed on the way here, got here, do you talk about going into the Shard? I mean, I guess she's already intuited it, but... Yeah, yeah, she knows that we weren't there, so I feel like she'd at least ask, you know, well, why yeah. couldn't I... Why couldn't we hear the fight? Whatever. So yeah, yeah. Seth would be like, there's a shard. Was. Well, it's not there anymore, but, <laughs> but there was yeah, a shard. Yeah, that's why I said was. That's why I said was. Well, I, I heard theirs. My bad. I heard no, I said there theirs. was a shard. There was a shard. My mistake. She chimes in with her musical voice multiple times asking questions. She's not writing anything down, don't worry, but it doesn't, like... Up You'd be a shit bard if you can't memorize stories by hearing it mm -hmm. once or twice. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, she just continually leans closer to ask you, per like, really pressing questions, like, and then what happened, sort of stuff. And then she always, she always asks, like, who's this? Who's that? Oh, is that that one? And she points at someone over there, whoever. Uh, do you... <laughs> do I... I need to confirm, do you actually talk about, like, play up, Delphi's dying? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Mm, that's a good question. You could sneakily do that one, I don't know. Mm. <laughs> I mean... A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> you do it stealthily. I mean. Silas makes it a, a point of tension of, like, we were all relying on... <laughs> <laughs> And then she fell. <laughs> yeah, she and, remarked, then and then that was. A, you, <laughs> I, then you were proven to be fools for doing that. I'm assuming. Absolutely. Could she well, read that? Could she read that? No. <laughs> um. Roll stealth, Silas. I, no, I feel like Silas wouldn't do it stealthily. They're they're in the performance now. Oh well, the DC was 16 sure. anyway, so you still fell. Uh. We talked fine. about earlier the DC's high for talking or perceiving across the tavern, and you're tired. I, I, I yeah, she is. She's very to, tired. Like pissed off, but story, tired. But also, I don't want to break her heart. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to talk like, oh, there's mad shit talking to you right now. <laughs> Silas makes eye contact with you from across and is like, "Don't you fucking dare!" It's like <laughs> trying to make a cat it barbecue. Takes, it takes the course of about like forty minutes, fifty minutes, maybe an hour at tops to go over the story because there's honestly not that much hap that happened, right? Like no. it was pretty fast. All things considered, like even when you play up and uh, over dramatize or or properly dramatize certain events, like it's still not much happened because combat only takes six seconds. So, mm -hmm. yeah, so you you get through it pretty quickly and with plenty of flair. Well, I say plenty of flair. Roll your performance. Fuck! I knew this was gonna come. That's okay. I want to roll my performance. I love rolling my performance. Oh, I you hate, hate it. Roll your performance. But... You hate rolling your performance. You mean? <laughs> <laughs> I was um, thinking in my head, like, God, it'd be funny if you got in that one. Uh, <laughs> I don't have any more charges on the trickster dice either, so fuck you me. Last wish. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I've got I've got one left on that though, and I don't know how much <laughs> you think that would save. save save a nat one. I mean, still twelve for a nat one. That's still pretty yeah, good. Yeah, if you roll like yeah. a four or something, that becomes like a sixteen plus one. Like, no plus one. Because the horse is not within 10 feet. <laughs> you know why your story sucks so much? Because you made why? Delphi not sound heroic. Uh -huh. Sure. Uh -huh. Thank you. <laughs> 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 yeah, the hero. So, so do you use his last wish or not? Absolutely, I do. Okay. There you go. You... How to put this? You sort of like 
have to think on what happened because it despite being so recent it was a lot of stuff that happened and it doesn't help that this very very pretty lady is the one asking oh. you such pointed <laughs> questions so you sort of awkwardly like stutter or mumble a couple of times and she never judges you when she does it she just asks you to like speak up or can you repeat that with this sort of boyish smile <laughs> <laughs> and you sort of end up fidgeting you sort of end up fidgeting with his last wish as like you're talking just sort of as a sort of like uh, anxiety reducer you know just sort of like you're fidgeting with it I guess hmm. and you know as like you're focusing on it like it does sort of give you the sort of uh, focus point to get an idea like an anchor of clarity as you know you don't look too far into her eyes as you had to describe the story <laughs> But you eventually do finish it. And then as you finish it with, uh, you actually finish it with, and then I met you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I suppose the story continues. Well, she stands up. You guys finished your wine glasses a, w a bit ago. Uh, not your cup of tea. No. Wine is definitely a bit of an acquired flavor and this was not it. <laughs> You got through half your glass, and when she realized you can really muster to finish it, she offered to just finish it for you, because, you know, if you don't like yeah. it, don't force yourself to do it. Mm -hmm. And then she, she'll say she'll get you something else later. Something that might be a bit more uh, straightforward. But uh, you finish your story. She gives you those remarks. She stands up. You guys can leave the glasses there as part of the bar, sween bar weenie's job to clean it. Um, she gets up. Well, then, shall we go meet the other actors I think so he does like a very grandiose flourish bow holding out her arm beckoning you forward well then please lead the way so how does she do that I'm trying to she imagine. does like this sort of roll of her arm holds it up very high and mighty almost divinely and then does a very like, 45 degree bow and brandishes her arm outward and to the right. While her left arm sort of, like, ushers you, like, sort of, like, blowing away forward. Like, by all means. Let's go. He That's said probably divinely, guys. He said it. He said it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I said the word. He said the word. Um, Stavis will obviously, um, Actually, lead the way, but as, Yes? Roll me your insight, but use your your charisma and place your wisdom. Um. Okay, hold on. I'm always forget Did how you, this. Goes. So a d twenty plus plus charisma mod. That's why we say charisma instead of wisdom. Yeah. Plus proficiency yeah. if you have proficiency in insight. I do, Don't but I believe I also have. I have also expertise in insight. Then double the proficiency bonus. Okay, so it'd be six instead of three. Okay. Rolled so bad, but got twenty. A dirty uh, twenty. A dirt, a very dirty twenty. Yes. <laughs> um. Tell you what. Tell you. Comes throughout back twenty. Uh -huh. uh, again, this is the second session in a row. <laughs> this Silas is truly the main character.